Hi everyone, I'm here to talk about the fourth pillar of what I consider good health is stress. And I'm here in Black Rock, Salt Hill, Galway, um, my blue prescription where I've spent many time um, relieving my stress by jumping into the cold sea. Stress is huge. I can't emphasize enough how important it is to manage your stress levels. When stress goes up an awful lot of the time, other things, everything goes down. Thyroid function goes down, digestion goes down, fertility goes down. They're not prioritized. When stress is up, the body thinks it's in fight or flight mode. It's gonna fight the bear or run away from the bear. And when that happens, your blood pressure goes up, blood glucose goes up, your heart rate goes up, your digestion decreases because it's not expecting to be digestion food when you're running away from the bear. So stress has a huge impact on the body. Cortisol, which is produced in adrenaline during stressful times, prevents melatonin, melatonin being produced, affects our sleep. Progesterone, which is produced by the adrenals and estrogen, they're not prioritized when stress is up. So you have fertility issues and the body becomes very acidic during stressful times. And how the body handles that acidity is by pulling calcium from our tissue levels, making the tissue levels very acidic. And this can lead long-term to diagnoses like cancer. So it's so important to understand where your stress levels are. The most important time of the day can be in the mornings and oftentimes getting children out to school, traffic, whatever it is, they're shooting up your stress levels and you're sitting in a car, there's nowhere to run off that adrenaline and that cortisol and to run away from the bear. So you're left with very high um, stress levels with nothing to do to run it off. Your stress levels will increase core um, sugar in your blood and that'll end up making you store weight around your middle. So the other thing is when cortisol is high, you might see uh, people develop a hump on the back of their neck, which is, um, is there, it's very evident. So there's a huge amount of effects on the body. So how do you reduce cortisol? And food can have a huge effect on cortisol as well. How do you reduce um, of course, all the sand of the sea here is just absolutely amazing. You have your green prescription, your blue prescription, go forest bathing, sit in the forest, calm it down, come by the sea. But on a day-to-day -day basis, there is techniques you can use. Meditation is huge. Mindfulness, just being present, breathing, and taking your time to be in your body rather than your head. Um, exercise is hugely important sleep. Cortisol is secreted in the morning to wake us up and it's so important at that time of the day that you manage your stress levels. But whatever it takes, um, just be mindful. Even with Fitbits these days and they have your pulse and they have your breath rate and they can tell you so much. Have a look at them and if you think you're running um, your stress levels too high all the time, over time it will catch up with you. So it's important to get a handle of it. If you're interested in a consultation and understanding what's going on in your body, give us a call or drop me um, a direct message and I'd be delighted to work with you. In the meantime, have a great weekend and manage your stress levels.